Hi everyone, it's Rachel Smith over at Compass Real Estate up in Big Bear Lake. Today I'm walking you through 605 West Aeroplane, just hit the market for 415,000. So come check this cutie pie out. Okay, so here we are from the street. Um, our lot lines, well, first off, if you just kind of go around and hit this corner, you're gonna hit Big Bear Boulevard going that way. So you might, see the boulevard from here but this is going to be our property marker right here it kind of blends in with the fence but there is a marker so there's a little bit of yard lots of vegetation kind of hiding you from the street which is nice and peaceful too and then you're coming all the way over to likely a property line of around right here so plenty of parking, definitely two cars in the garage, two cars behind the garage, two cars over here if you wanted to, and even possibly more behind. So tons and tons of parking. It's a really nice barrier hiding you from the neighbors right here. Paint job looks like it's in really good shape. And it has a garage too. So for 415,000, that's a pretty good deal garage is finished off inside so likely insulated but definitely has the drywall in electrical nice area to just store your items lots of um I think this is called uh, da, 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 Juniper, uh, Virginia Creeper. Really nice ivy kind of growing up the wall too. That's great. So you get a little bit of road noise. If you can see, let me see if I can show you a car as it passes by. It's not that loud. Here comes one. Not bad at all. Here they have kind of an overgrown um, horseshoe pit. And they do have the hot tub back here too. And this area is nice because this is just like a little locked area where you could keep dogs if you wanted to. I mean, all of this is fenced, but it's like double fenced. Um, so nice little lights on the tree hot tub here does have water in it so you got two ways to get upstairs through the inside and through the outside So here we are entering the living room. We have tile floors right here, meeting some laminate hardwood floors. So to the left right here, we have closet, hall closet. And then you've got your thermostat here. I don't entirely know what this one is for. I don't want to mess with it, but I can't tell. Um, so there's a thermostat here, but then there's also one over there. So who knows what that is from. Do you have dual pane windows? No. Oh, that, that could be for this fireplace so pretty large sized living room too you could almost like pull it in and still have more more space at the entry but you don't absolutely need it either That's central heating in here 
And there's our stairwell going up. Um, I will take you upstairs first. It's cute, a cute little cat door down below, but really private from the street. Um, so here we going up this large, easy to use spiral staircase. It's not one of those tiny ones where you hit your head on it or anything. Um, and then we're gonna get up to this landing right here. So from this landing, we've got a bedroom, bathroom, bedroom. So from the outside, this is one of the dormers that you are seeing, the middle dormer. So let's go through here. So this one would be more of the master and how they have it set up. Super clean, I really like the floors up here too. These are really nice. Um, upstairs, these are dual pane windows. They are a little bit older than the ones downstairs. Kind of more like the original dual pane, but still dual pane. And then the roof looks like it's in decent shape too. So this is a king, king size bed. And you could even get bigger in here if you wanted to. And then over here, we have some kind of like their attic space. Just extra place for storage. They've got like a rug in here. A lot of people can finish that off. Use the space for kids if you wanted to. But here's the actual closet. So kind of fun how that door handles itself. Ah. And then this actually looks like a whole house fan right here. We're going to be able to get all the heat out of the upstairs, which is nice. And then this is going to be the first bathroom that we're looking at. This is a jetted tub right here, but still has the shower feature. And big shampoo box, too. And we've got tile all around it, and then also tile on the floor. And it does have a heat lamp also. This is like a, like a porcelain. It's almost like all one piece too. Pretty cool. And then from here, we have our second bedroom. So this one again, two bedroom, two bath, 1183 square foot. We got a little closet back here. Just kind of more of that attic space. And then what looks to be like a double bed in here. And then over here, I'm not gonna go down this way because I still wanna go through the kitchen, but you do have access to leave the home from here. And then obviously the cat door too. Probably close that up. Okay. The next we'll go back down to the kitchen area. I like this artwork too. Doorbell. Here we have tile. Looks like they've done some repair to it because you've got like this this one area that's white and that one too. Um, maybe just areas where it's like chipped or something. Uh, and then the floors in here are a little bit worked. Tile. But with maybe a flooring credit or something, you could probably get away with it. It's got a little bit of slope going up here. Um, which doesn't really concern me. I mean, it's the tiniest of tiny slopes. And then our appliances, we do have upgraded appliances and they are all matching as far as being stainless steel. 
and a little bay window. And then here we have the furnace intake. And then here's where your laundry is in this bathroom downstairs. So the bathroom where you're gonna take a shower is upstairs. This one, you could, if you forego the laundry, put the laundry out in the garage. You could probably convert this into a shower if you wanted to. Um, but it's also fine how it is. This is granite. And then from here, you can go outside. It's not really much to see back here. I mean, there's the stairwell from where we were coming down. They need a little yard cleanup right here. You got like a big pile of leaves and stuff. Here's where your furnace is. Doesn't appear to be too, too old. Um, shed. But yeah, you can see there's a lot of like leaves and stuff and sticks and stuff to clean up. So that is it. Water heater back here too, but roof looks like it's in decent shape. So that is it for 605 West Aeroplane. That one on the market off the market kind of for 415,000. Let's me know what you think. Bye.